Hey, welcome to Bug TV. It's Friday. I'm Jadrian, and I'll be walking us through some ion today. And this is very exciting because we got at least one person in the dog pound. That's Obram. Hey, Obram, how's it going? But we're doing ion, and I know you've already seen us do ion a few times, but that was the European ion. Now we're in the North American free to play ion, so that's very exciting. Last week, if you watched this last week, not, not this current Wednesday, but the Wednesday before, we actually went and got our wings and then celebrated our final day in game by flying around and flying far to death. And it was fun. And so that meant we had to start over. So we finally got our accounts worked up, we finally got the game patched up because us and everyone else who wanted in took a while to get patched. And so we started playing today to try to get past some of these low level missions just to kind of get back where we were because we didn't want you to see the same things over again. So now my chat says no such channel so let me refresh it just in case somebody does want to come in and hang out with us. Twitch has been having chat um, chat problems like all week so I'm hoping, hoping Friday night this will let me. Aha. Yeah, see, I couldn't even see what Obram said because my chat didn't. It actually goes pretty good. It's a weekend, so that makes it even better. Yep. Chat is not coming up, so... Well, sorry. My chat's kind of bad. My wife seems up, so we'll, we'll do our best to keep an eye on it so we can say hi to you. Alright, but in the meantime, we're going to try to speed through these first few levels since they're kind of nothing new to us. And we've only been playing uh, about an hour. We started about an hour ago. You know, do things here and there in between, but for the most part, gotten us our, our few levels here in about an hour. So we, we should do pretty good tonight. Yeah, just watch a little chat thingy spin. I gotta grab some of these. We've been trying to keep our collecting skill up as well. There are at least one mission we already came across earlier that wanted us to do a collection. Plus you get experience for collecting, so, you know, complete a mission and get some experience for it. It's not terrible. Okay, you don't get like a whole lot of experience, but the fact that I can see my experience point bar move when I collect is actually not bad. Ooh, what was that? So the class combo that we're going for, we we debated this a little bit on our last game. My wife changed from the assassin because her stealth assassin was incredibly loud and noisy. So there was just no way she wanted to play that again. So we, we kind of gave up on that. So she went with the fighter this time. Yeah, because if, if you remember, every time she went to do something, she was anything but stealthy with her assassin that was just, you know, would Enemy yell, in would tennis would yell every time. So she went with a fighter this time. Now it turns out her fighter is probably just as noisy, but at least it seems more appropriate for a fighter class. So nice that to meet you. Well, I wasn't happy with the fighter class, not what I'm used to playing with other classes, so we debated what I should be. Well, since she had played the thief last time, that left either the cleric or the wizard, well, looking at the, the branches later on, the wizard can actually branch out to uh, summoner class. So that's what I'm going to work for and just kind of see what summons we have. So that is our current combo right there. She's playing the fighter and I'll play the wizard. Ah, he got here. Oh, good. She figured it out. Till the key is the assist that's key. An key. That's good. Well, it says in the There it is. Oh, that's what I'm about to find it. Alright. There. I learned something new. Now. Because I was having to tab through and hopefully tab to the correct thing that she's fighting. And... An we're still learning, so I have to have, the, I have, to have my wife targeted. 
then hit the tilde key, which will automatically target what she's targeting, then I can start fighting it. So, just a minor quibble. Hello, cast a spell. We are here. I might just go back to doing tab. As soon as I start attacking, it comes off of her. Let's see, I wonder if... Well, maybe if I work... Yeah, if I work a combo, I could probably do F2 to target her, Tilda to target whatever, and then start casting spells on it. Oh, Obram says we was pretty good. It's 1 through 10. Well, hopefully we're good. We got you. Yeah, we're going up. I thought about healer just because, you know, for obvious reasons, if she's taking damage, then we got you. a very little downtime. But, I mean, I'm hoping wizard is better beyond, beyond 10 as well. So, I mean, at least it's good to know they're good 1 through 10. And I don't, I'm not even sure what time they get to branch out. I thought maybe that's like level 20 when they get to start working towards an advanced class. But if they can start working towards an advanced class of 10 even, that'd make it much better. I actually am not a fan of games that have the, the split path. I prefer if they just let you pick what you want to be It is what it is. Quests on the tracker here. Whoops. Uh oh. I can't pick that hole because it's done. You grabbed it. Yeah, that sounds right. It's gotta be an easier way. I need to. Be oh, someone else got. I need to toggle or uh, change my my key so I have something different for assist. Inga Hira. Okay. So I gotta hit a key to target her. Key to target that. Inga Hira. There and get my max. That's where they choose. Spirit Master or Sorcerer. Yay! So level 10. Oh that's good. See, I didn't even know that because last time our characters hit level 10. I mean, we quit. So, you know, I didn't even bother looking at the advanced class, but level 10 is actually not that difficult to get. So, uh, well, that's good news. <laughs> that's actually pretty good news because I didn't mind playing the, the level the level 1 through 10. Especially here as a wizard, if I didn't so bad at all. Oh, he resisted. He I don't feel bad for a DPS, she gets it all the way down and then I just hit it for like one little plink at the end and she did all the work. That's right, she helps me out. Hey, I was playing the Euro server free to play. I haven't been able to get on the US server yet. Oh, you were playing the... Well, you, I don't know. I wonder why you can't get onto the US one. Yeah, we did the European one too for a little bit. But uh, we actually had no problem getting into the, the US one. What we did... Actually, I take that back. We did have some problems. The actual website for the Ion game, their homepage, it was just like down. Every time we tried to go to their website, we got, you know, web page not found. It just couldn't get in there to do anything. So finally, what we did to get around it we meet in was Ariel's we downloaded the NCSoft game installer because apparently they use that to install everything and we installed ION then once we would launch ION from inside that launcher program it finally gave us the option to uh, create an account and then that took us a couple tries to get but we you know you have your NC master account and then for each game you have to have like a, its own little account we finally got it working, but it wasn't until after we downloaded the NCSoft game installer. So I, I just assume that me, my wife, and a whole lot of people are trying to get into this free-to-play one. Because quite frankly, I think that this game is much better than the Lineage 2. I liked Lineage 2 when it first came out a decade ago. But since then, 
games have progressed, and I think this one's a lot better. So I'm glad that they opened this one up to free to play, and I know a lot of other people are glad too. So just keep trying, you're gonna get in eventually. And we're playing on the, I guess it's pronounced SEAL server. There was four servers that we noticed. The first server my wife came onto, it was a recommended server, and I forget the name of it, but it wouldn't let her make any of the Elios characters. So then we tried the SEAL server, and got to play our Elios characters. So if anybody wants to join us now, uh, we do have one friend, uh, the gamer chick. She wanted to know what server we were on a long time ago, and I think she told us what server she played on, and I, I don't even remember. So, you know, depending on if we if we find out from her what she plays on, we might switch servers just so we can play with someone that we kind of know who can maybe give us some pointers for later on in the game. Cause she, I think she was max level, and I'm sure she's playing. I <laughs> know she's not hanging out to watch us because with the new Ascension patch, they, uh, they added housing and a bunch of changes to the game. So if they put housing in, I'm sure she's trying out the housing to see what that's like. I, don't, I doubt that it's anything near the level of EverQuest 2, but they do now have housing. And it's a start. And then Obram says, you know, have to give it a try. Yeah, just uh, try the downloader. See if that makes a difference. Or at least we get the game file. We actually can get on the game account. At least the game is already downloaded. <laughs> Level, level seven. Oh, level five. I got my books to read. I'm just gonna wait on those till I level up. All right. So one thing that we learned from the European server, for those who might be new to this, if you're just playing the North American for the first time or just checking it out, as you attain certain levels, you buy books that will increase your skills, get you new skills. Uh, here give. And you have to wait for that level to read the book. Right, we've what we did was we always buy like our next level of books so we have one of those just in case as we're running out of there. So why I don't buy. Uh, here give. No. Let's see. Bottom. Anyhow, so you can take these books with you. That way, what we do is if we're just out in the field and all of a sudden we have to hit that level, we don't have to run back to town by the books. I mean, it's a simple little little tip but what we did we learned that on early that way we oh it's made me stop following you increases our combat effectiveness because here we are working a quest and bing now we've got new skills I'm gonna have to open up my skill book my skill list really <sighs> okay so let's go K so I picked up Blaze, inflicts magical fire damage on a target within 25 meters. The target's magic resist decreases by 30 for 30 seconds. Skill level 2. Let's see, Flame Bolt. Awesome. There's my first chain. So all I gotta do is cast Flame Bolt, then cast Blaze automatically. Erosion does some earth damage. There's oh, it's a dot. I got this passive concentration. Hmm, that would be interesting. I'll put erosion down here. Who knows if I'll use it? But. Oh, that was a big hit. Click the chains. I nailed that sucker, didn't I? <laughs> and my chat just reset again. Oh, how annoying. <laughs> I can know it resets because as I'm Have trying to watch the chat, him? it says, Welcome to Jadrian's channel. So I know it just reset. So hopefully, hopefully we're still in here. It's going to be rough. Yeah, look at that. Didn't even tell me. I got Eagle Claw and Insta joined the chat. So welcome, guys. 
Have or you business girls, with me? just in case. May Ariel's light shine upon you. Fernanda. Get off the tree. Nice to meet you. So, turn that in. Here's your book. Enjoy. Have you business with me? Well, I have business with you now. Unknown quest item. Goodbye. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? I had the sound turned up earlier and I forgot I wanted to turn that down. Just because... Oh, I thought they had a master volume. There. Well, master volume should turn it all... Have you business with me? All down. I had to turn the music Goodbye. off. It was just so loud. All right, let me put these up on the tracker. And the tree. Our kind is in trouble. The kobolds Movie. are destroying the The forest. evil kobolds. My I remember the them. Trees cry out to me. We've killed us bunches of kobolds in the past. All right. Okay, I believe we are ready for next. Are you counting Sparkies? Well, at least I get one good hit, and then you finish it off while I'm casting my next spell, the little spell timer goes, so I, I guess we do pretty good. Oh, hold on now, why didn't it advance? Uh, I thought my blaze was going to be used automatically, skill chain. Maybe I'm not setting it up right. <clears throat> One. Oh, I have to start with it. Alright, whoops. Oh, oh, he used it automatically. Never mind. He used it automatically. It was like an insta cast. Like, bam, and then bam right away. So it did trigger it. It just doesn't have a a cast. It's like a follow-up and then it has a really long cooldown. That's the problem with it. Alright, there you are. Oh, hello. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> That's the problem with being all-powerful. Everything wants to come kill you. Oh, man, this chat. Twitch chat has been messed up all week and it's very annoying. Makes it hard to want to have a conversation with somebody. Wings. Alright, well I've got one of three wings now. A little present for you. Let's find out. Which which mission is it? Oh, the the Sparky. I have three of three. I'm good there. I got the, all three for that. I have one of the wings. See, if I was a healer, I would just go bling. But you heal pretty fast, you say, when you sit. Yeah, I guess I won't worry too much about it then. Let's go, Flame Bolt. Flame on. Look at that. Nuke. 
Well, shoot. I do so good nuking. Maybe I don't want to be a summoner. Maybe I just want to continue advancing the path of the magician. I'll have to do some research and look up what kind of pets they get to summon. I've seen some games where the pets you summon are just pathetic. <laughs> I mean, just awful. Warhammer comes to mind. Played the Necromancer and it made like a pink horror. You know, and I thought it was going to be like some cool demon. It was just ridiculous. It, it wasn't a pet. That Their idea of a pet was totally not my idea of a pet. It It's like a tower is essentially what it was. It's like a tower with a limited attack range, but it just kind of stayed in place. For me, if I have a pet class, I want you know something that will go and, and do the dirty work for you, hold the aggro while you blast it with magic. You know, a pet class. Rift had some real good pet classes. I was very impressed with their pet classes. EverQuest 2 has pet classes. I admit it's taken EverQuest 2 quite a while to actually make decent pets. I mean, for a while, the Necromancer, like, its first level pet was like a beetle. You know, it's supposed to be like a carnivorous beetle, but still, it was a beetle. You know, finally, now all their pets are, you know, necromantic related skeletons and whatnot. But with this game, since I've not really done my homework to see what, what would constitute a pet for them, I'm not sure if they get silly little, you know, pink horror type stuff, or do they get, like, some actually cool-looking... Um, things to cast. So if they have some really cool looking pets, I'll go that route. Otherwise, I'll just go pretty much the DPS route so we can just blast our way through things. And then hopefully she'll be able to pick something that's kind of an aggro holding class. Was there something you needed? Because if we do it right, we won't really need a healer. I mean, obviously there's going to be those times where dungeon, you got to diversify. You just have to have the bodies. But as far as just running out just doing your everyday quest like how we normally play a tank and a good DPS wizard should be just fine we just DPS our way through any situation so I think we'll be good now I am noticing though that my mana takes forever to recover I probably have to do a sit down for that doesn't look like it just recovers when I go walking around but hey, I got some quests to turn in. Woohoo! More experience. I only serve the freshest ingredients. Turn it in. Let's try a soup now. And I thought I saw over here. Hello. Lady. Ion has led you here. And then I will check on my books, pre-purchase my books, buy skill manual. I mm, already learned it. Level 7, level 7. So grab this one and that one. Purchase. And now let's see what I can sell. I picked up some pants. I think those are the same ones I gave you earlier. So I'll do that. Keep the soup. Get rid of the wings. Powder. Pants. Campaign item. Carapace. Minor focus. Ooh, I need that. Physical attack increase by two. Something by a couple of minutes. Keep that. Alright. Well, slowly earning some monies. Free range. So yeah, if you guys are talking to me in chat, oh, it did work. Oh, look, it it crashed, it came back. So Obram says, yeah, I socketed as many MP items as I could find. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I was trying to save those up. Um, I was getting some mana focuses, but they, I've only gotten one so far, and it was for accuracy, and I didn't think accuracy would make much difference with my magical spells. So, oh, there's body lotion. I tell you what, this is not an RP server, that's for sure. I've seen all kinds of goofy names, but body lotion, so far, that that's that's pretty creative. I'll give you that. But yeah, I want one for accuracy, so I'm pretty sure that's not going to work for me. So I need to make sure. Yeah, I see her now. But yeah, I definitely want to make sure that any of these socketed items for 
mana and magic. I stick wherever I can. That's for sure. May the shadows never find you. Oh, let me check on the clothes too. There to start Luna, getting out of these basic robes, maybe. They don't have a preview button. I don't think. Do they? You haven't found a preview button, have you? And I believe... But I believe these are better than... Yeah... Yep, that's better than what I'm wearing. So equipped is 8. That's a 14. <sighs> I always feel like maybe buying it, but... Since I'm in the back, not really fighting, uh, but it does give some magic. I'm always torn if I want to buy the, the store-bought stuff. Especially because I don't know if it's going to give me a different look, and that's mostly why I go shopping. Yeah, I think green is what you have is better. Worse. What you have is worse. And so far, all these items here in the store are better. I know we're going to start getting some quest items soon, but I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Why not? I got the money, right? Why not? May the shadows never find you. It's just money. All right. I don't think it changed my outfit at all, but it's a little bit stronger. The hugger. Oh, the tree hugger. Hey, yeah. Friend. That was one of the missions they forgot. So, I'll just sell back this stuff. Yeah, so I paid 2000 to get out the new stuff. I get 22 back. Yes, this guy definitely makes Come back a mint as a trader. Okay. I think we're done in town. We're ready for whatever might be next. So level 5, we made pretty good progress. I know the, the first time that we played through learning the system, learning the game, it actually took us a couple of weeks to get to level 5. Right. Yeah, yeah we're doing a little bit better this time because we definitely have better experience on where to go, what to do. You know, so it's our second time playing through. And so far, I have not noticed a difference between the American and the European free-to-play. Now, I have read on some forums that big differences is not so much in the gameplay, which, you know, I'm not surprised. But big differences are in the cash shop. Apparently, some of the items for sale in the North American cash shop are, like, level 50 weapons. Or, you know, some very powerful equipment that you can buy right away. And if you haven't picked them up in game yet, you know, you just got to remember there are some people that have been playing. They've already got high level characters. And so some of the, the equipment you can purchase are geared towards those higher level players. And apparently, I don't know much about it because I obviously I'm level 5. I don't have anybody up that high. But I guess some of the equipment they're selling nice or meet. the equivalent of items that are very difficult to obtain in game. So now, instead of having to work for it, you can just pay out a little bit of money and buy these powerful weapons. That's upset some folks. And I could see being upset if you did it in-game the old-fashioned way, paid your $15 a month, and had to grind towards a weapon, and now somebody can come on the game, pay that same $15. I don't know how much it costs, but I'm just saying, for example, pay 15 bucks and then just buy that weapon straight away. So yeah, I can understand a little, a little frustration on the part of some folks. However, they now make their money through the cash shop. If it's going to sell and make them money, I'd rather have them do that and keep the game going than not sell anything and we lose the game. I'm okay. I don't... Yeah, and my wife my wife points out, she's not on her microphone, but she points out it, it's optional. You don't have to go buy the high level sword. Because it's an option. If you want to obtain it the old fashioned way, then that option is still there. If you are a casual player who doesn't have the time to grind, yeah, I, I attempted to lose. 
if you don't have the time to grind, then you know, pay your money and buy it. Especially if it's something that requires like a raid. I mean, that's one thing that we have some some troubles with sometimes is finding the groups because a lot of the people we game with aren't like big raiders and stuff like that. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get that kind of stuff organized. And we don't always have the time. Oh, I'm just going to pass that. So, yeah, anyway, cash shop, like it or hate it, it's there. Doesn't mean you have to use it. I can hear the music coming through my wife's computer, the drums of the jungle. I like that follow-up chain spell. I just wish it procced a little more often. Come on. There we go. Now, I don't know how my, my wife feels. I'm just kind of a side question to my wife. When my spell actually casts and hits for a big chunk of damage, do you notice it when you're fighting? Stay on ya. Yeah, I liked it. Oh, I'm sure there's a taunt. I liked it when, when you were playing your thief. It was nice because as the fighter, you know, here I am standing toe to toe. It's going down a little bit at a time. And then all of a sudden, whack, a big chunk of life is gone. And it's like, I see that. That was a nice feeling because then I knew, okay, I can finish this thing off finally. Because as the fighter, I took I took huge amounts of damage. Oh, for some reason, nice it didn't, meet you. must not have hit the accept button because he's having me do that quest again. Here's Why? hoping. All right, I think I got it this time. Have you Hello. And peace. All right, I'm gonna pick up minor power shards. Oh, definitely want those. I keep forgetting to use them. I don't know if they work for me too, but I have power shards. I should use them. And I got food. I'm gonna give you. I should give you this one because it increases physical attack by two points for 15 minutes, and I really don't need physical attack. So I'm gonna give you this food. I'm going to try refreshing this again. I'm hoping I can get this chat working just so I can talk to you guys. Because as it stands, I have no idea if you're trying to converse to me or not. And I apologize for that. And there it is. Ta-da. Oh, you gave me a little... Aww. Aww, that's sweet. Uh, oh, that's sad. So now, according to this, I'm not even broadcasting. Oh. Well, that's good. I tell you. Yeah, this twitch. Oh, now, it, right as I went to hit the refresh again to pull it up, then it started to come on. So, yeah, I'm having, having some problems today with my sight. I uh, apologize for that. Oh, okay, Obram says he's seeing it. Yeah, for some reason, the... The chat's really pooping out. Yeah, well, I had Obram and who was it? Insta and Eagle Claw. Oh, okay, I just caught it now. Just enjoying the stream, but yeah, the chat servers have been messed up all week. So, yeah, hopefully, guys, yeah, don't. It is. I guess it's just to sit back, relax, and enjoy the enjoy the stream. Enjoy the pleasant sounds in my voice. Oh, I got stuck. Get off the tree. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I lost my wife. Here it is. Now, I'm hoping a game comes out where the wizard gets to wear stuff other than robes. I mean, that is so cliche. Yeah, you know, but that—that's my wife says. Anything beyond robes interferes with the essence of magic. But that is so 
old fashioned that is so 1974 Gary Gygax chain mail original edition role playing game rules it's this old fashioned I want to see a plate wielding Greetings. sword swinging wizard who is just at home kicking butt as as he is coming out and casting some spells something on his mind just saying or at least leather you know i mean it can still be limited to cloth armor but you know like pants and cool looking stuff you know just robes robes get so tiresome after a while and oh i don't remember if they have an appearance slots I don't remember if they. I have to look I at my character. If they have appearance slots, and I can wear cloth pants or something. That might be all right. Okay, I'm with you. You cloth says uh, it isn't just your channel; it's all over Twitch. You have to remember the casting magic requires subtle movements to form the arcane symbols. <sighs> Another one of them. You know, but it, it depends on your world of magic and and what, you know, because every, every world has its own mechanics. I mean, that's what makes magic magic. There's no, there doesn't have to be a set way. You know, there's some games where the universe is blood magic, where there has to be some sort of either your blood, a creature's blood. Templars and Paladins wield deity, deityal powers. So... But if you go and look at the D&D &D world in Forgotten Realms, they have the sword mages that wear, you know, leather and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's possible. It's make-believe. It's make-believe. It can be whatever you want. Whatever you want. Come on now. Oh, man. Look, either it was backlogged or something, but... Yeah, oh, look at that. It, it, it's got Eagle Claw here, but... Well, I gotta sort this out because it may double double posted your stuff here. So he goes, and then heavy armor limits your range and movement and can prevent you from making the gestures properly. Thus the cloth, but yes, pants would be nice. Yeah, so some pants. Pants would be good. Alright, let me catch up here. Oh, there you are. Harvesting. Are we? Oh, is this? We got a harvest now? Is this the harvest? <laughs> She says, oh, you were standing around reading, so do something productive. Sorry. All right, we're running again. <laughs> she says it keeps her from getting in trouble. I don't know. I think she could still find ways to get in trouble. Oh, yeah, let me hit B. I got, next time I get in a fight, I got to hit B. Are these sleeping? Do we just talk to them? Oh, play the flute. Maybe. Oh, it disappeared. All right. Come on, tree guy. And then Obram says, "Seems like elves can use magic wearing chain." I think they can. I think when you look at, like, say, Dritz, Dritz do Erden, kind of fame. Oh, and my wife says yes because they make their own special type of chain. So I could easily see somebody making their own special plate. I mean, if you can use the metal of chain, then you could use the same metal just to make plate and make it a little bit stronger. Okay, I need to find one more tree. Okay, she found that tree. Need one more magical tree, folk. I think they respawn. Run around. There's one. Yeah, wake up. Our kind is in trouble. All right. He's woke. Everglade Sylphins. Go there and turn my music up. My wife says the music here in this forest makes her want to fall asleep. And 
Uh, she says there's bugs that keep you awake, so it's a balance. Well, I turned my music off, so I guess all I have are bugs. Our kind is in trouble. And then Eagle Claw says, oh, there is no doubt that games use it as a stereotype of convenience, sometimes for balance. Yeah, I know, it's uh, all balance. But I think when I write the next great American novel, my wizards will wear plate. And wield swords of great and terrible power. And everything they do will be over exaggerated to the extreme. So they'll wear extreme plates while they're casting their extreme magic and wielding extreme swords upon horses and mounts of extreme speed and dexterity. You're well. May you oh, never. Never. Not ready for that one. Oh, hold on, I gotta check my Okay, so my regular quest, let me get my trackers up, so I know what I'm getting. Level 3 is dumb, we just gotta turn that in. And we could start on illegal logging. Oh, it's a campaign one, it doesn't disappear. That's right, it's done done. It's the other ones that disappear, but your campaign one stays, so you have a story of what you've done. Uh, and then, um... Euclaw says, and yes, Mithril is a special metal and it's much lighter and more supple than iron or steel, thus allowing you to still make the gestures and movements needed. And then Obram, of course, if you sneeze while casting Fireball, you may roast yourself in your own armor. Well, that's true, or lightning, or any number of things. It's all very, very true. And then Euclaw says, that's why it is still counted as lighter armor. Lighter armor. Almost like a play on words. Oh, we gotta get these saplings. Okay. I saw another sapling around here somewhere. Oh. Well, if I find us if I find something to harvest, I'll harvest it. I think we'll just go kill kill kill. I'm right behind you. Where'd you think I went? <coughs> well, just so you know, I'm gonna roast it. Bam. Double bam. And then uh, Eagle Claw says, sorry, I'm a fantasy geek. Well, I think we are a little bit of fantasy geeks as well. So don't worry, you're, you're amongst friends. Yay. Epic skin. Oh, it's dead. I was like, why can't I shoot it? Oh, because it's dead. Pick it up. Oh, uh, someone here in the chat. I know my window's covered in the chat. Usually I have the, the chat covered because it's filled with gold spammers, but somebody said that when, uh, Guild Wars 2 comes out. That'll be one of the last games they paid. It's free to play games for them from here on out. Seems to be the trend. You know, I I kind of have to agree. I'm going to keep my Swotor though. Got to keep Star Wars. My wife's going to keep EverQuest. Now, even though EverQuest is free to play, she still pays her subscription for gold membership. And that's actually still a, a pretty good value. I'm gonna need one more. One more skin. Light him up. And there it is. Ooh, and some leggings. And they apparently. Yep, gotta wait. I'll roll. Yay, I got a 66 on my dice roll. Yeah, we're kind of fantasy geeks. If you notice, most of the games we play in our, our role-playing are fantasy-based. Fantasy sci-fi. Sci now, I had to admit, when I'm away from the role-playing that I pay, play uh, first-person shooters, I really like... Uh, I had to admit, I like the simulation style more, so I play Arma. 
Arma 2. I like that one a lot. I'm not so much of a fan of the Modern Warfare 3s and the battlefields. So I'm looking forward to Arma 3 when that comes out. Just my style. Oh my goodness. Uh, I remember why I don't read the chat. It's just all, they just filled up with, uh, wow was this and, uh, wow was the first MMO. Already, already debating and fighting the games. Wow. Well. Even before then, if you want to go way, way back, there was the Realm, there was Meridian 59, there was Ultima Online. <laughs> Maybe the first one for my wife. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I think that'll be a big debate. And then you can say, well, what I meant to say was the first 3D MMO. Uh, you know, it's just. Everybody debates that. You know. Because you can even say, like. Friend. Oh, level seven. You know, even some of the public boards where they were just chat based, the MUDs, the uh, text user dungeon bases, and stuff like that. You could even say some of those were the first MMOs. Oh, okay. What's this? Okay, that's robes. Gotta keep that, keep that. Abix hoof. Mm -mm. Please, take your so time. let's see. I really don't have much to sell this particular trip in. Except that hoof, maybe. Where is that at? Oh. Well, there it is. There's there's my crap. Man, I didn't have much crap. Some of this is needed. Alright, I'm Come good. Back anytime. Yay, fun part. The transport. Yay, we get to fly. Ion's greatest gift. I believe I can fly. Here we go. Great journeys. I believe I can touch the sky. Ha, ha, ha. Now this would be a cool set of wings if this is what you had when you got your wings. Something like that. Of course, I can't imagine it's very comfortable if the eagle has got to, like, dig its claws into you. So there must be some way that you're attached. Because that would just be super, super painful to have that thing digging its claws into you. You know, just fly and then just rip them out of you to drop you off. All right. We'll bind. And now we get to oh, turn these in. Please take your time. Level six. The kobolds are up to something. Well, it's like turning some stuff in, but not necessarily getting a whole lot of At the experience. Strip mine, there is a huge and hole. skip the story. It will be done. Hmm. More power shards. I gotta remember to use those. Double click to equip and press B to activate or deactivate. I should probably use it. So we'll accept. For Alicia. I think it was just telling Carry me what I'm gonna up. get. Turn that in. It's like quest updates. I haven't actually turned one in yet. Need me some experience nice points. You. We're getting so close. Alright, I guess I'm ready when you are. The Dukaki. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know if those are the people in the Game of Thrones. I don't know if that's the name of the Horse Lords. Hello, cast my spell. Thank you. 
Because it came over here. Came over here and started beating on me. I was like, well, that's rude. Alright, let's take it all. And cobalt axes. Alright, I need one more axe. Who are you fighting? I don't remember what the horse lords in Game of Thrones are called. They, they might be Dukaki. Get it. How dare you strike me. Uh, let's see here. And then Obama says the Ultima series are classic games. They did a lot of stuff well. Don't know about Ultima Online. Oh, that is a classic unto itself. Okay. Uh, when I played... Oh, she's looking up to see what the Horse Lords of Game of Thrones are. Yeah, if you put a thought in her head, she has to look it up. Yeah, Ultima Online was... It was awesome. It was amazing. When that came out, to me, you want to talk about sandbox, in my mind, that was the ultimate expression of a sandbox game. It would have been cool in 3D. <clears throat> I'm sad they canceled Ultima Online 2, but isometric top-down view... Oh, he Obram says they're the Dothraki. Dothraki. It's almost like Dikaki, but Dothraki. Yeah, we're just now watching that show and love it. We Okay, so you can focus on game again. Yeah, so anyway, the Ultima Online, yeah, it was just awesome. I loved it because I mean it was so to me so immersive. Like you could go out and let's say you just started with a dagger, you know, and some really crappy clothes on your back. Well, you could go take that dagger, uh, go up to like a tree, scrape like some wood pieces off of the tree, and then over time build up your campfire skill or fire making skill to where you could take those kindlings, make a fire. Then, if you had yourself a fishing pole, you could go fishing and then cut the fish into little cakes and then cook those cakes or and maybe they, maybe you didn't have a fishing pole but if you killed a small animal you could skin the animal get the skin get the meat cook the meat on the fire that you made from the kindling that you stripped from the tree I mean it was just it was amazing I thought and then um, let's say you picked up a little bit of money because it was skill based so let's say you took your dagger skill because again you're still poor but let's say somehow you you killed off a, a small level creature and got a little bit of money so you invest in say a pickaxe well now you can take that pickaxe you go mining get some ore take that ore back to a smelting whatever and then you could turn turn that stuff into ingots and either sell the ingots for money or eventually work on learning crafting and turn those ingots into you know weapons and armor and you know eventually kind of do some trade skills it was just great what sucked was the pvp when that game came out it was open world pvp you could do anything to anybody anytime anywhere the only safe place was town and that was only if the guards caught you so if you played a thief there was a chance that you could get away with doing some things and not getting caught because well you know you're a thief I'll roll the dice so what was really sucky and I, I think I've probably told this story before but what really sucked was standing at a bank and pickpockets would strip down naked because when the guards would kill you in town your corpse became lootable so that kinda sucked too so you could tell who the thieves were walking around the bank because they were pickpockets. So if they happened to roll poorly and get caught by a guard and the guard killed them, well, the only thing on them was the stuff that they had stolen. So they're not out anything. <laughs> so, you know, it was terrible. You could just, oh, here come the thieves. It, it was a real challenge to go to the bank and not get ripped off as you're trying to put your hard-earned money and valuables into the bank. It sucked. And if you went out into the world, there was roving gangs of 
of griefers and you know that was fun and then the housing the housing system they had was kind of neat because it had a housing system and the problem with the housing was it was open world housing so you could buy like tents and different things and place them anywhere you wanted in the world like literally just about anywhere if there was open space ground you could place your home and so there would just be these towns that popped up of player made stuff which is is kind of neat player made communities and cities would pop up but sometimes it was so overcrowded with tents and housings it was like a maze trying to get anywhere because you had to navigate through all these homes so it was just a it was a different beast and how they combated the pvp was they didn't make any necessarily restrictions on pvp but what they did was they made a separate world and I, I can't remember the names it was like Tremel and something else and you had a portal one world was the open world pvp and the other world was pve only no pvp at all so you had people that could switch back and forth between the two worlds and eventually they had like a jail system and stuff like that and if for if you were counted as a murderer and i mean you know they did try to do some things to curb the uh, pking but uh, it, you know, it was just interesting because you'd have somebody who was maybe a jerk and then to be safe he would just transfer over to the PvE side and be be safe. Oh, someone wants our help. Should we help him? Yep, she's inviting him to group. Sure. We'll help little Link. Anyway, Ultima Online. Classic game. Classic. Ooh. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, this will be great. I'm really going to shine here. Boom. Oh, did you hit level 7? Well, my wife definitely gets a lot more experience than me. You must have harvested a lot more than me. Because I'm not even close. Oh. I'll roll the dice. Ooh. I don't know if that's a boss as much as it's just a, a tough named creature. And they're going for it. I should have enough mana. You're welcome. Uh, Obram, uh, still there was so much modern MMOs could implement from that game and it would take them to the next level. Yeah, I, I've thought that. At least, you know, like the details of taking your, not, you know, the sandbox elements would be an excellent thing. Because I've literally not seen any game implement so much of the sandboxiness. At least that I've played. And then uh, the gamer me says, hey, oh, we've actually got a couple of folks who have snuck into the channel since I've been in here. Which is, you know, good that I get to see it now. My chat's been kind of screwy all week. But uh, Blood Gulch Massacre, welcome. And we got Eagle Club, Blood Gulch Massacre, Clutch Factor. I don't even say that one. Nip Ganoush, Insta Obram, One Sadope. And the gamer me. Welcome everybody. We're just starting up our low level peeps here on the North American Ion. We gotta catch up to all the level 50 people. Are you binding stones? Oh yeah, I just got this. You know, this is a little bit better. I th oh, I lose out. Oh no. I'll put it on. It's a little bit better. Some better stuff myself. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hold on. I'm being attacked. Gamer Me says, Did you get the codes I sent? Why, yes, we did to Gamer Me. Thank you so much. We, we got those applied, so now we're just waiting to. Oops. That sucked. I know I was trying not to fight it because I pull aggro so so badly. 
Eh. It's just a little bit of experience point penalty. Okay. I'll just sit and rest. See so, ya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one. Let me harvest. Yeah, we got our codes, and those are good. Thank you very much. We just had to wait for it to tell us to when we can start downloading and playing. And then Blood Gold Match. Well, can't even speak. Blood Gold Massacre. Hello. Welcome. Gamer Me says the NC Soft Launcher kept crashing my computer. Yeah. Well, we were lucky. It didn't crash our computer, but certainly when we first tried to download this game, for my wife and I at the same time, it said we had 343 hours to download. Luckily, that wasn't the case. Otherwise, we would have been here a while. But it did definitely... It took a little while to get things downloaded. It didn't hurt our computers at all. It just, just took forever to download and patch. Hey, I'm almost... Oh, Your target does not here, I'm just going to go get this one and catch up to you. I think you'll still be a little bit ahead, but... Uh, get a little bit better. I also finally got my code applied properly to my account for the secret world so hopefully soon I'll be doing some beta testing for uh, the Guild Wars 2 which thanks thank you very much oh you are thank you oh and I totally missed this one and then Gamer Me says yeah the secret world is a new Ultima in my opinion uh, which you know I'm is it raining? is it really? I can't even see the rain on mine. It's overcast, but... Huh. I don't know why I don't see the rain. Must be. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully pretty soon we'll be doing some beta testing for Guild Wars and for the Secret World. That will be interesting because I really don't know much about Secret World at all. I've kind of letting that one stay <clears throat> a secret. Oh, I got these things to turn on. Let me talk to these folks. Oh. Oh, hold on. What are you fighting? Sure. Dead. Are you hitting it with lightning or is that like your power thing? Yeah, it is. Power shards. Oh, yeah, that'll help. Oh, I gotta read my books because I got leveled up. So when we turn these in, I'm gonna have to take time to organize my skills. Close. Uh, Gamer Me says I got a code for the Secret War or Secret World uh, to from his friend. Yeah, and the way you level, because it's like skill-based, is what I've heard. Like, I honestly really don't know much about it. So I've heard it's skill-based, not day. not so much level-based. Which, personally, I kind of like skill-based leveling up. That's one reason I liked Ultima. Because it makes sense to me that, you know, the more I use a sword, I'm going to become better at using a sword. It's not going to make me a better artist. But, you know. Greetings. It just doesn't seem all that popular. <clears throat> but yeah, I've always preferred skill-based games. You know, it, it still leads to grinding because you want to practice that one skill and make it better, but it's no different than grinding and building up your levels, in my opinion. So, okay. There you are. All right, hold on. Let me check my equipment here. So these boots are ready for soul binding. Let's see. You can't really tell. Oh, can't see. And then these leggings are better. Uh, is that what you get? A little message it says you were success. Yeah, no. My wife just got her message saying you need to stop playing because you've played too long. <laughs> Uh, so my equipped item are these pants, so what I have is better, so we'll sell those. Yep, I'm wearing, I'm now wearing better stuff than what I bought. So as soon as I can sell, there he is. Please take your time. Sell. And, oh, looks like my chat just reset again. Boy, I tell you, that's going to be rough. So let's sell those broken wart claw. 
And then I'm going to sell those. I guess you don't want to sell the quest items. That would be bad. Where's Cynic at? He'd be so proud that I'm keeping my inventory empty. Ooh, mana stone. I could have used that a few minutes ago fighting a wolf. Eh. Oh, you know what I could have done was actually put a potion down. That speed heals. That recovers some hit points. Yeah, maybe what I could do is actually use some of these items that are that are here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, dude. Okay, I take it back. I don't mind the jumpsuit. I can wear that. Take care. Okay, I'm okay with that. I didn't know you sent me a trade. Oh, is that what it was? I thought it was looking at my inventory. Sweet. Thank you. Magic. Oh, oh, it's magic. Yeah, let's do that. That will boost magic by 12. Let's do it. I'll put it in my shirt. Nice. Socketing. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, Gamer Me says, yeah, they've been working on a new chat and weekends uh, suck for Twitch in general. Well, I guess that maybe that's another good reason I don't play too much on the weekend, or at least broadcast too much on the weekend. Although I am going to, I have to, I have to try and, and do a little broadcast this weekend. I've got a little side project now I'm doing for a website, so I have to, I was trying to have it follow you, but I got stuck on a tree. So I'm doing a little side project for a website, so I'm going to see if I can get a little uh, broadcast this weekend done for them. So hopefully it won't turn out terrible with Twitch acting up the way it does. So what I'm going to have to do is record locally and have a, a Twitch chat going as well. Sigh. The problems with being a very low-level internet host. Uh, okay, I will. I'm just also turning on all these different quests now to track. Yeah, I keep holding up my leaf, but I am not seeing the rain on my screen, which is weird. Sorry, I was tracking some quests. Tracking some quests, my darling. Name bolt. God. Yeah, I still have to organize my skills, but so far, because I, I read my books, I just had to figure out what my new spells are. Funky heart. Because I now have, goodness gracious, I have a frozen shock. Puts it in the knocked back state, which is part of my ice chain. Which is there. There's ice chain. And then stone skin. Forms a protective shield for 5 meters that has 100% chance to absorb damage when you receive attack. If attacked by another PC, you will suffer less damage. But how long does that last? Alright, we'll try it out. It sounds like a buff. Four minutes. I'll take it. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to try the ice stuff. My ice spells here coming up. What? What's that above that guy's head? I am but a faithful servant. And the abix horn, or the hoof, right? And a brax. Oops. The shadows never find. I am but a faithful servant. Oh, that's right, Scars. There it is. Yes, I did. Belts and then I am this up. Faithful servants. Tuddy, I suppose I can. 
Uh, let's see here. Gamer Me also says, yeah, I found out on my ISP doesn't do anything higher than one megabyte up. Oh, no. To do high quality, high def streams, you need at least three up. Luckily, our provider is not as much down as I'd want, but they're 10, 10 down and 10 up. And they come pretty close to the 10 up. They really do. All right. Where did you go? It's hard to keep up with you when... I'm reading a quest, I turn around and you're gone. I didn't see ya. I had to hit the C so I could follow ya. Funky heart. Yeah, I'd be happy with three, let alone ten. Yeah. It seems to do pretty good. The other provider we had, they were like, I think they were supposed to be four up or five up but they had 30 down something like that so I kind of missed that at times oh thanks straw belly it's a nice buff better than my four minute shield oh I forgot to do my ice boom that's right I ooh. Well, while my fire recharges, then I can just hit him with the fancy ice. I can make this work. What? Uh, there it is. Oh, now I see the rain. Alright, I got the rain. Got it. Is Raz playing with you? Yes, she is. That's that's who the the lore, lore, Laurel. I'm not sure how you say that. That's Laurel. That's Raz right there. Yep. So that's us. Ah, she's waving. Can I cover you with my leaf? Okay. Well then, I guess I will... Oh, that was sweet. I had my little shield and he hit my shield. Sucker. Hearts. Nice. Oh, hello, Hiroki. The infamous. Yes, I have three fungi hearts. I just need some prayer bead. I need one prayer bead. And I'll have all my prayer beads. Uh, ask her what the Friday special deal was in EverQuest 2. Gamer Me wants to know. Oh, hello, Elder Spring. She says it was heritage armor. Heritage armor and booster packs of some sort for the uh, Legends of Norath game is what she says it was. So apparently nothing too spectacular for EverQuest 2 that was on sale in the He says for show, I bet. Yeah, appearance only items, so. They sell weapons now, too, don't they? Actual. Oh, I thought they actually sold some uh, damage dealing level based. No. So, dungeon marks, but not through the cash. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, my chat just reset again. <laughs> just every once in a while my chat goes, Welcome to Jadrian's channel. Flame bolt! Flame on! Oh, man, I should have named him Johnny Blaze. Nice chain. 
Oh, that sucker's tough. That was a tough one. Turn my shield back on. Hmm. Nothing really good there. Okay, well, I've got... Okay, I've got all my cobalt axes. I've got all my Oz prayer bees. I've got all my funky hearts. And we're off. Let me put my book away. I like silly running around with my book wide open. Oh, Nibuda. Hey, Nibuda. Welcome. Oh, and Pebbles. Oh, I've lost all track of who's come and gone, but welcome, welcome, welcome. And Nibuda says, just had to pop on and say thanks for the tip to play Vindictus. I'm totally in love with it. Good night. <laughs> in and out. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you tried it out. Glad she liked it. It is kind of a fun game. I, I have to admit, it is pretty fun. So that's very Area cool. I'm glad she's enjoying that. I almost feel like a McDonald's. Another satisfied customer. I'm like a video game pimp now. Are up to something. I need to put a subscription thing on my channel now. That's right. I'm, I'm helping you make informed decisions by playing this stuff for you. So. Okay, well those are turned in. Now I can say you're right in front of me. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I did look at my stuff. So I got Stone Skin, which I cast. The Root, which I don't really use. The Ice Chain. Alright. Yeah, okay. I think I'm, I think I'm good on my stuff. Alright, so. Where are you at? Okay, I'm with you. Uh, let's see, the gamer me says, miss that whole other conversation. Yeah, the chat. So I can't even tell you what you missed and where we're at in the chat. Just mm, silly, silly. We were talking about Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Kidding, no, we weren't. We need to, though, at some point. I don't know whether I'm mad about that or what. Yay, personal shield. Oh, that's awesome. That really did absorb the damage. Look, I took, like, nothing. Oh, wait, hold on, hun. I wonder if I can cast this on you. Or if it's me only. Yep, me only. Crap. Because that was awesome. Yeah, I signed up to be a beta tester for the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition rules, which might not mean a whole lot to folks, but to me, I want to know. I just swear my wife bought me and let me invest in a whole bunch of 4th edition stuff, which I love to collect, but now 5th edition is going to come out, and it almost sounds like it's going to be totally incompatible between the two systems because they are so different, which is a little, little frustrating. Bound to happen. Everybody advances, but the thing that I've learned... I like to play light, so that probably means I won't be buying too many expansions for it, because, oh, hello, I'm being attacked, because I have found that actually playing the, uh, like, you know, the term vanilla, just the very basic of the game, I almost prefer over them having 30 character classes, 40 races, you know, a thousand feats to choose from. Uh, among the whole expanse of the game. I think I prefer just having the basics, you know, fighters, paladins, you know, just a few of the iconic classes, the iconic races, and just kind of play from there. I don't think they want us to go up that way. Long way. Oh, you're being attacked. Nope, somebody else is. Which, of course, talking about D&D &D has absolutely nothing to do with Ion, but since I'm not doing a game review, and it's Friday, I will talk about whatever I want. And there it is. Uh, and then Obram says, I still think 2nd Edition was the best. Oh, man. 
Me too. Oh, I gotta get this too. I know, right? Second edition was phenomenal. Oh, I can't I can't tell you how much fun I had playing second edition. It took me forever, but like we finally had Thacko mastered. We I mean just second edition was great. I had to admit though, I did fall in love with fourth fourth edition. It has its own charm. I didn't do any third edition, totally skipped over all that. So I can't really say one way or the other. But second edition was my favorite. Fourth edition I've really enjoyed. So fifth, I'm kind of skeptical. Thacko. I know. To hit armor class zero. That was a fun, fun mechanic. I almost hope they bring it back. Almost. Eagle Claw says, I still prefer 3.5. Yeah, to be honest, I'd never played any any of the three or 3.5. I haven't done any Pathfinder. I wouldn't mind trying them if I had people that role played, but basically when I buy this stuff, it's more of as a collector because there's really not a gamer community here around us. I tried to get some friends to play it. We, we did start up a little group, but being with kids and jobs and just, it's not the same as when I was like, you know, 14 and 15 playing it. Now when you're starting to push older, and you have different responsibilities. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to spend the whole week in gaming. Now it's going to be like, I hope I can find some time to maybe get two or three hours in with some friends this weekend. Totally different environment. But I wouldn't mind playing as a, a player in something. I usually end up DMing, which I enjoy. I just haven't had a chance to really sit down and play as a character. And I wouldn't mind trying 3.5 or Pathfinder as a player to learn it. Oh, you're already gathering it. Okay, so I can look at this because I just picked up a vest. Okay, apparently apparently this is better than what I'm wearing. So, right click, soul bind. Oh, and... Ooh, it's... Oh my gosh, what is this? And ice chain. There you are. You're welcome. Alright, let me do some gathering here. You should try 3.75. Yeah, the Pathfinder. I thought about buying the basic box for Pathfinder. Just because, again, I like to collect them even if I don't really get to play them. And just different things that I've read is uh, the Pathfinder at least is, is a complete game unto itself. And then once you get your characters to level 5, time to move on to the core book. And then every time I go to the store and look at the core book, I'm scared. It looks it looks pretty, pretty in-depth and thick. So, hey, Canyon Spellbook. Thanks. What do I got for you? Really nothing. All right, let's see what a canyon spellbook does. It's, I guess that's damage. That's like way better. And okay, something else. Oh, chat channel reset. <laughs> Ho hopefully, hopefully I don't miss anything. Okay, what was that? That's magic point. Oh, yeah, I gotta put that on. And this belt. Yeah, because I need a belt. Looks like you got something for a shield. Do we need more ore? Because I got my three. Are you good on ore? Okay. Because I was thinking about just harvesting real quick so I could hit level eight like you. I don't know if I like the look of his shirt. That's very feminine. Just saying. Oh, that was a quick... Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's kind of... Uh, I know, I need something a little more... Evil. A little more Merlin-ish. Oh, I'm failing on this one. There we go. Come on, successes. Success. Nope, no failure. No failure. No failure bar. Failure bar bad. There you go. Successes. Successes. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Let's see. I am literally, literally 
oh, I still have some hit points on the recovery. But I'm like... Almost 16. Look at that. I got 34,916 and I need 34,936. So, like 18 shy. I'm not good with math. <laughs> I did. I told you to hold on. She is not a holder on. She is a go, go, go girl. Okay. Go, go, go. I know. Quit trying to run a web show, right? <laughs> I'm checking my stuff. I know. But I was like, I was flabbergasted while it was sitting right there. And it's like full. Because it's like 18, 19, 17 points off. So close. Alright, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. I help. There it is. It's dead. What kind of book? Well, at least the book is kind of cool looking. Let's see that chain for that one. And ice chain is good. Bam. Defeat the Dukaki. Flame. And flame. Ow. Oh, my shield wore off. So I know my shield wears off. They hit me and it hurts. Ow. Flame. Ice. Oh, look at that. And it pushes him back. That's kind of cool. Flame. I had to admit their spell effects are pretty cool. Nothing for me. Nice chain. Uh, and boots. Oh, those are probably boots you can use. I didn't check to see if they were cloth. I just hit roll or chain. So, if you need them, if you didn't win them, I'll give them to you if you need them. I did. Alright, I will give them to you. Lock it. And clock it. Oh man, my chat's going crazy. Well, hopefully soon and I mean like in the next hour they will have their chat all fixed you get are you putting on those boots oh they actually work and they actually look a little bit different they match your pants better speaking of matching pants better I love that Star Wars finally fixed where there's a button you click and all your mismatched colored goofy looking equipment will be colored to match your chest piece so you don't have to run around looking like a weird funky clown anymore you can actually look uniform. Very cool. Which I am very thankful for. Kind of makes me want to play it this weekend. Alright, where is she going? I got gotcha. you. Well, we are definitely making a lot better progress than the first few times that we've played. I think at this rate, we, we should be able to get our wings pretty soon. That would be cool. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hate looking at that, the back of my chest piece. See, I tell you. Yeah. Why was I? You get a new one. I know, but 
I tell you, when when I was making character today, and we were going through like some different uh, faces and stuff, I I was so close to rolling a female character because it was so hard trying to find a a guy that I could say you know I I could play with. Yeah. And then the clothing usually looks better on the ladies, so it was just almost, almost made a female. Roasting pig. Obram says, that's nice. Haven't been on Swodor in a couple of weeks. They've given a way to hide the hoods on the robes yet. I don't know if it's on on the hoods, but I mean they do have the hide helmet option. But I haven't looked, I didn't read in the patch notes anything specifically saying to hide the hood. So that, probably no. So you'll just have to stick with wearing your, your hooded robe. Oh, it's it's way back. Yeah. There was like the stew pots and some other junk we had to look at. It's like way, way back. Amongst all these different things. Yeah, I don't quite remember either. It should be on the map. It should be on the map, I thought. Oh. Well, we can wander. We'll figure it out. Kaidan. I'm almost kind of sad Nibuda didn't get to stick around long. Just came on to say hi and thanks for the tip and then left. Kind of miss having her yell run every few seconds. Run! Hey, we have a quest to turn in. Run! Oh, here we go. Hi. Good thing I'm wearing my shield. Look at that. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing, son! get a good one. I got one to give me a couple more mana, so I think maybe I'll... Oh, I should put it in my new... Oh, it's got room. I need to check and see if I can de-sock it. Uh-oh, I'm putting it in the lit. It don't matter. No, I don't want it there. I said... There. Enchant. Give me a couple more man mana points. I did swap my books, yeah, so hopefully I hit a little bit stronger. Okay, where did you go? Okay. There you are. Okay. Let's go fight. Unless it's back there, I can see the top of something. Another one of those little village things, so maybe it's up there. I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, it has been a week. Well, a couple of weeks since we've actually done these specific quests, so... in the cash shop here though and see if they have anything similar to EverQuest uh, silver package. Well, might not be needed though because, speaking of free to play, they say that this is a truly free to play version that you have access to all the races, all the classes, all the levels, all the dungeons, everything in the game is available to you without spending a dime 
and then everything in the shop is just perks and additional things, equipments and whatnots. And I have not really looked. So I guess, in essence, you would not really need to have like a silver level. Silver level in EverQuest 2 gave you like a couple extra bags that you could carry. Uh, you know, it gave you some perks. It wasn't quite the same as paying a full membership, but it was a, a one-time fee that you could pay that did enhance your your gaming experience. But um, yeah, I haven't really looked to see what what the different tiers or the the difference exactly between the free to play and the pay people, people who pay some money each month. So I'll have to check that out. Since this is a game that uh, my wife and I do seem to enjoy playing together, it might not hurt to put a little into it. And I like to, you know, that's one reason I like Cash Shop is because then you can choose specifically what you want to invest in. You're not, you know, if there's something I like to buy for just a few bucks each month, that's definitely worth it. And Fifteen dollars a month for stuff I don't enjoy. Okay, I'm just behind you in experience, so I'll be able to keep up a little bit better. Main bolt. That's right. Get off me. Oop, that's for you, that's for sure. Oh, he resisted me. There we go. Catch it on the flip side. Yeah, this messed up chat's really bugging me. So I'll find something pleasant to talk about. Mmm. Oh, now it says no such channel. Crap. It won't even log me into my channel. I don't stand a chance now. So speaking of Pleasant, Ghost Recon Online is still a pa Oh, wait, hold on. This is Pleasant. Let me look at your outfit. Oh, that looks a little smexy. So Ghost Recon Online is turning out to be a little bit funner very frustrating for me because I'm not very good at first person shooters and PvP aspects but I do have a level 5 recon which I mean isn't that high I don't play that much but it's kind of fun I'm uh, getting usually I can get more kills than deaths if I do it right so that's kind of fun so if you like first person shooters try that one out that's kind of cool it's free to play I think it's in a beta still so you just have to go to UBI soft see if you can sign up for the beta get yourself a beta key it's not too bad you got three classes your classes do have some customizations you can get armor then you can get armor plates to customize what you're wearing certain weapons that you buy are then customizable with like scopes and um, you know, silencers and bipods and things like that. But it has an amazing graphics engine. And I like it too because it's got a cover system. So you can hide down behind the walls and pop up and shoot and hide again. It's very cool. It's, it's like an advanced form of their Rainbow Six Vegas. It's like the Ghost Recon version of that. The only thing that so far that I don't really like is it, well, I mean, it's just beta testing, so they'll probably have more when it comes up. There's only like three maps on it. So you kind of see the same maps after a while, and you're kind of wishing you had something else to look at. So in time, though, I'm sure that will expand to be a very in-depth game. So that one will be fun. I was thinking about maybe playing that a little bit the NDA has been lifted so I might might broadcast that a couple of times I did a couple videos of it I was testing out my audio settings I noticed some folks put some views on it probably thinking I was doing a game review I tried to put a label just testing audio but sometimes people end up watching stuff that you know but I'd like to do a proper proper gaming footage and review on it. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. 
Where'd you go? You went inside the mountain. I forgot what we were looking for. We've just been running around. Ow. Take that. Stupid worker. Lock it into your brain. Is it there? Is it locked? Did you get it? I had to wait for it to spawn, I guess. Something just popped behind us. Yeah, I'm looking right at it. Ancient cube. Well, I'm glad you got it. It's not there for me. I got one or zero of one. Maybe it spawns in more than one spot. She's just running off. They put the cube that we needed. They let her see it, but I couldn't see it. So we're just looking around to see if it maybe spawns in more than one place, or by the time we go back, maybe it will respawn for me. No. Now, if somebody else takes it, I'll be so mad. <sighs> that might be what she was waiting on. Still not here. That sucks. I hope it's not one of those quests I'm going to have to abandon and then pick up and come back. That would be terrible. Let's see if I can reset. Chat while we're going here. <gasps> I thought that was it, but no, just junk in the ground. Name on. Hello, money. Looks remotely like. Oh, it was on the ground, but I thought we found it in like a corner. Like back in the corner, but who knows? I'm glad we found yours right away, that well, well, kind of right away. But that's right, I remember it being on the ground. Uh, let's take this thing out. Flame on! Big flame and ice. Cool off, big fella. Okay, it's not here. Take 
that. Shield. Yeah, they need to put these personal spells on like a one hour timer. That would be nice. But quite a few games where your personal buffs were an hour. And I don't think that's unreasonable. Oh yeah. Well, I got the roasted pig. Return to Oz. But no stupid cube. Starting to get hot in here. I think I need to get a drink. At the way. It, uh, it sure is after midnight. Played almost extra long. Almost coming up on two hours. Yeah, usually we get about a good hour and a half. We get a little extra bonus footage today. Fireball! Fire! Pull off, big guy. Freeze. Freeze, you've been arrested. Hmm. Land quick fox. Why? Why is Quick Fox so slow? Hmm. I don't know. I'm following you. Hmm. I was gonna say it looks like Easter eggs, but I think it's just a mushroom corpse. Well, I will eventually find that puzzle box, I'm sure. I am but a faithful servant. Hmm. I am but a faithful servant. They were cooking his buddy. The shadows sure. never find you. And I am but a faithful servant. Well, you see, here I go. Be right back. Alright, I'm done with him. What is a name like Suck Me Off? Are you... I'm telling ya. Alright, so I'll say there's some pluses and some minuses with going free to play. You just open the doors. However, my hope is in time as... as the novelty of the game wears off, that new, new just went free to play kind of shininess wears off, that we're left with, you know, people who are serious about playing it. And you're going to see less odd names running around. Just crazy. But you take the good with the bad. Oh, someone's asking where you can get your cube updated beyond level 4. I was happy just to get my level 1 cube. I wonder if I can cast my shield while running. 
Yeehaw. I have a macro to auto cast that if I could. Our kind is in trouble. Slowly moving up. Well, the more quests we get done, the closer we get to our wings. Well, I was hoping we could hit them tonight. I don't think we're going to hit them tonight. Tree hugger. There, we get to talk to the big tree. I remember doing some of these quests before, just a matter of remembering when to hit them and when to get to turn them in. Story time. The Ephira Obelisk. Arialuma, friend. Here I go. Yay. Yeah, I wanted my wing. I got <laughs> my wife says we got our wings before bed, so it's a wrap. I'm just so disappointed in my Twitch talk. Every once in a while it says welcome to the channel, so I know it's spazzing out. I know I know it's been like that all week. It's just it's just a little frustrating. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, your life's going pretty good. If the only big complaint in your life is that your Twitch MMO chat channel is kind of messing up here and there. So, hey, wait a minute. I'm wearing robes and a dress again. Curse you. Alright, we're back. Ah, Eagle Claw says, yay, grats on wings, yeah. Nice, we got some chat again for a moment or two. Yep, got our wings. So we're good. I can officially retire now. Got wings before nighttime. Ah, an animal lover straw belly. Those are two names I'm not going to pick up. I'm not going to use the animal lover title, and I don't think I'll ever be a straw belly. And it is definitely nighttime. I think what we'll do is we'll park up here. Yep. Yeah, it's my pumpkin time. So we will. I ain't got nobody to talk to because I, I can't turn in nothing. Can I sit here? I'm going to sit on the bench. Alright, so I'm going to camp out reading some books right here. Well,. I apologize that the chat was kind of messed up. Yeah, you know, we do the best we can with what we've got. But I appreciate everybody who took the time to watch. And I appreciate everyone who actually, you know, later on even watches the whole thing through later. So I appreciate that for hanging out. So good night, everybody. Uh, like I said, probably this Saturday I'm for my other project. I'll, I'll probably pop on. It'll be something short. I might go through, you know, maybe go three. I'm not quite sure what exactly I'm going to cover, um, but this is going to be a short video. So if you happen to pop on when I'm on, um, it'll just be just a short thing. I might not even, I might not even have my my stuff turned on to uh, watch the chat. So yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. So if you come on, yeah, yeah, of course, I'll say hi to folks. Yeah, so I have my chat turned on. I just don't know when that will be. Other than that, if, if nothing else, we'll be back Monday. We'll see if, uh, you know, hopefully Conan will be up and running and working. So Conan will be Monday night. And then, you know, next week, I'm assuming, hopefully, some betas start. And whenever those start, we'll be, might replace one of our normal weekday games with something new and shiny. So that'd be cool. All right. So good night, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Let's see. Let's see if I can see who's still here. As everybody leaves, Clutch, Clutch Factors here. So good night, Clutch. Good night, Eagle Claw. Good night, Obram. 
We'll see everybody later. Mwah. There you go. That's my appreciative kiss and hug for everybody. I need to have like an ending thing. Hugs and kisses. Uh, that's probably not very cool. I, I, I'll work on that. I'll come up with some kind of cool parting whatever.